Hi folks, this is CJ at The Practicing Chef. We've got our dough ready to go. I actually put it in to be proofed again, so let's stretch it out. I've uh, taken some of the hot capicola and chopped it up. That garlic is all roasted. We've got some finely chopped shallots. We've got the uh, grated uh, mozzarella that I have, and somewhere else I have some Parmesan cheese. But what we're going to do right now is get this dough out on a floured surface. And we're going to make our pizza. And we're going to do it out on the... Uh, should pop out just like that. Isn't that, be isn't that beautiful? We're going to make a poofy pizza. I'm liking it. And because we're doing it on the barbecue, I'm going to cheat a little bit and use a little, uh, what I call Italian bull bearings. You take a little white cornmeal and you can throw it on there and make sure your pizza moves. I got other rookie pizziola cheats, or as you kids call them today, hacks. I mixed up a little bit of San Marzano, my uh, complicated recipe, just a can of San Marzano and some nice basil, a little salt. A little sugar if you want, a little olive oil. You got a very nice raw sauce, which is, I think, the only way you should go on pizza. You can see I took some of that basil out of my aquaponics garden. If you guys are interested, look that up. Aquaponics is an amazing way to grow a lot of your own food. And basil is one of the easiest things to grow. It grows like a weed. Okay. You got that. Let's do a little bit of the uh, boar's head cheese. I just like the way it melts. It's very, very nice. Okay, and that's about a quarter pound grated threw some of these lovely shallots on there. They should cook nicely. I took that garlic. It's cooling off, but we roasted it nicely. That should give us some nice stuff. I'm going to take some of this capicola. Oh, that's nice, Frank. It's a nice spicy capicola. See how this garlic's gonna work out. Oh, that's nice, Frank. Ah, look at that. think was going to happen. Don't waste any of that. We'll save the basil for later. See you guys in the next video. Or I should say see you folks in the next video. Talk to you folks later.